Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, and this is a wardrobe episode today, my friends. I am going to open and review the luxury, what's it called? <laughs> um, the Rackish Patreon Luxury Coffer Cosmetics. So I got the big one. Again, I do so much with this channel, and again, I've got to thank my Patreons for being able to have the little extra and you guys all watching to be able to buy these to review them for you on the channel. So hopefully this helps you decide on which ones. And again, if you go to their site, they will explain to you the different levels of what you get and that kind of stuff as you do it. But I'm gonna move all this stuff down here so that I can be ready to open the right one for you. Um, that's something else. And we're gonna open them up and I will also show you what titles I got. So I need to show you real quick cause I actually bought it the other day before I opened it. So it already gave me the title, so let me show you that real fast. All right, so these are the titles it gave me. Just before I forget, you get new titles. So you will get the titles based on which one you buy. There's three levels, right? They all give you bonuses. Again, this is totally like fun cosmetic things and just things to help you along. These are not things you need. If you're playing this game free to play, there's a great free to play system. I cannot stress that enough. This is not pay to win stuff, okay? This is purely to help support the creators and enjoy the game, okay? To have more cosmetic things. Cause it's really cool. I think this is how they should do it. A lot of games, this is the most successful way to monetize eyes games besides of course their vip subscription thing which is a very reasonable price i talk about that all the time totally think it's worth it um and again the game you don't even have to buy it a lot of there's a lot of games you have to play subscriptions and you have to buy the game first you don't have to buy lojo awesome anyway moving on so the titles are a new title has been bestowed bestowed upon you uh so i got charmer dashing charmer and gallant charmer oh oh wink wink no, I'm just kidding. All right, so <laughs> that's what we got for the titles there. And then let's go ahead and open the boxes. So the cosmetic one and this one is the Patreon's luxury mithril coffer. So if I open this one, it doesn't, by the way, mind you, these are both uh, whatever character you buy it on, it will bind to. But remember, a lot of times the armor can be sent to any of your characters on your, on your world. See, uh, um, not your whole account. So like normally if you have accounts, you can... um. The same account can have characters on different servers. It'll be everyone on the same server. Okay, so same account, same server uh, for this. So I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna get all this stuff because again, these are bound to account, okay? So again, they can be shared with any of my other characters in the shared wardrobe, through the shared um, storage in the vault, right? Um, you can't mail bound items, right? But you could do it through the shared storage and stuff like, and the shared wardrobe, um, which again, I'm a VIP, so I can open it right here. So you can see what I'm saying, wardrobe, do this real quick. I don't want to bug you because you guys want to see the stuff. I know. Um, so you can do it through that or the shared storage. But here's what it gave us. We also got the Tome of the Rakish Feline. All right. Now, some of these, you'll, this is the biggest one. So it's going to have everything in it. There's a couple other ones will have just some stuff in it. Okay. And then Tome of the Charming Feline. So let's go ahead and open up my collection. And as we do this, we will add in. Oh, speaking of, my dog is getting jealous because we're going to look at cat characters. <laughs> no, you can hear my dog in the background, baby. Um, Right click here, learn this one real quick. All right, all right. And then it should boop, pop up in there. Okay, just updated it. And we got the feline, right? Wait, where did it, where did they put it? Uh, where did they put it? It's the rackish. So that's kind of hard to find, there it is, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna right click that and summon it so we can look at the cat real quick. Here's the cat, oh, it's cute. Dude, you know what this cat makes me think of? I'm gonna be totally honest. It makes me think of the anime Naruto with like, but like a cat version. You know how like uh, um, Kakashi, the one ninja guy, he has all those dogs, like ninja dogs. They've got like scrolls and stuff wrapped on them. That's kind of what this cat makes me think of. It's kind of hard to get a good angle on this thing. Let's see if I can get a better angle for you real quick. So you can kind of see the cat. There, can you see a little better in the corner there? So that's kind of what it looks like. It's cute, a cute little like, it's got like a blade on its head. It's pretty cool, pretty cool looking cat actually. I really like it. It's really kind of hard to get the right angle. There's the back of it. Let's see if I can um, flip it around for you. Try to see if I can get the best angle on it to see. There you go, can you see it back there? There it is, follows me around. I know it's pretty tiny, I could zoom in like this. It's kind of hard to look at it from above though, but that's it. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and do the other cat, the Charming Feline. All right, let's look at what this one looks like. Um, we'll go ahead and 
a collection. The charming feline. There it is. We'll switch cats. All right, so just it's just basically the same cat, but it's just not covered in stuff. So if you just prefer to have a more realistic, you just have a cute cat. That would be good. I think this one comes with a basic level of it, but you can again, you can check on their site. I'll link it for you where you can get it. Um, actually, I don't think they have a link really showing you all the details anymore online. I think you just get it through the Lotro store. And remember, you have to be on a character to buy it. Just throwing that out there. Maybe you don't know that. Um, it also gave me um, the Rakish Charmer's Runestone. What does that look like? So we, I can't actually use it, but oh, it's like a runestone that, oh, I will use this on my runekeeper though. That's cool. Um, it's just a neat looking runestone. Again, it says I, I actually can't use runestones, but it might. Yeah, so I guess it wouldn't actually work on me as a guardian because I don't think I can like cosmetically put it on to have it. I don't think, can I? Uh, let's see. You are not a specific weapon. Okay, hold on, let me. Yeah, because um, I don't think, since I can't actually have a runestone, this is something important to realize. Um, but they do give you a staff, which I also can't use because I'm a guardian. So, but again, remember, these are bound to my account. And I do have a lore master and I do have a rune keeper. So I can put these in my shared storage and they can use them. So don't freak out if you get a different character. You're like, why can't I use it? Now you know why. Um, so that's good to know, though. This, this definitely is more of a... For those items, it's lean towards Runekeeper and stuff. But we also have the Rakish um, coloring or um, thing. So let me switch to a different cosmetic gear here for a second. My regular stuff I'm wearing. And then let's go ahead and put on... Let's see. And then I should be able to... Can I drag and drop this here? Wait. This is my regular outfit. Uh, oh, I'm not on the equip. What do you mean I'm not on the equip? What is it doing? Oh, there we go. I'll do it here. I don't know. Wrong spot. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Got to be on the actual equipment page. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and put this on here for the axe. Oh, that's cool. So now ignore the bow effect for a second. I'm going to remove it. Ignore the bow effect for just a second there. Let's just get rid of the bow so it's out of the way. Okay. That looks awesome. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look how cool it looks. It's like purple and pink. It looks like like runic power. Right? Like, I, man, it actually looks like something out of like more of like a maybe less of like fantasy. More like... I don't know, like Final Fantasy or League of Legends or something like that runic energy power. That looks really good. And also, if you notice, it slowly has a little glowing around the outside of the axe, like not actually touching it. Do you see him appearing right there? You see where my mouse is? See him like peer appearing out in the air? That's pretty cool. That looks, I really like that, that aura that is so cool again the auras are some of the coolest things with these supporter packs they've been doing i love them they're so cool and then they gave us a generic aura too but i'm gonna go ahead and put back on this aura for now that's the green i gosh i actually kind of almost i almost like this one better um but maybe i will instead of having the water aura, i'll have this on the bow that's kind of cool this is cool I'm, I'm very happy with this the tidebreaker one's cool though too um let's put a shield on real quick here so that's the shield aura I'm using right now. It makes my shield blindingly powerful. But what if I switch to this one? Oh, that looks awesome too. What does the rackish look? What does this one look like? Oh, that looks so good. What? Sorry, I got a little too excited there. That was that looks. So, I mean, I'm using it on the shield. I just decided. That looks freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Now remember too, um, I'm using these on the main thing here, but I think cosmetically I could put the same one on all of them. See how I have the river or on all of them? So even if they just give you one, just keep this in mind, okay? So let's say I like that so much, which I do, that I'd want to put it on to all of my stuff, right? That I'm using um, for the things here. So let's see, can I, I remove this one? Will it go to the other color? You do have to have a, oh there, gotta turn this one on. Oh no, I ha you have to have a placeholder. So if you wanna have a placeholder, you put the normal one on there, and now it'll use it. So by the way, if you're curious what these are for, 
these normal weapons auras, you have to have a normal one there if you have the other ones on the cosmetic, okay? Because if there's nothing in that slot, it won't work. But did you notice how when I had a different color, it was overriding it? that makes sense real quick. I have a video on this in the past, but just to show you this right now during this video, if you're buying it for yourself, you have to have, so if I put this one on the actual equipment, uh, it, right now it's working, but sometimes it'll glitch out, right? Um, and then if I completely remove it, it's just gonna turn off. And now you don't even have the blue one showing. So that's when you can use either another one you could drop in this middle one, and then it'll make your cosmetic one you're equipped with work with the outfits. You can figure it out. Just move them around a little bit. But you, you get my, I think you get my point. Um, but yeah, that looks really awesome. Um, I am super stoked with that. Uh, see, again, there, it's kind of glitching out because there's no placeholder here for the weapon. See, I won't even, it won't even let me use it right now. So that's where you'd have to drop in a placeholder for the weapon here like this. But if you notice, I believe it's using, oh, no, it's using the, it used the right one. The river folk. But if I switch there cool but now I'm actually looking did it switch out yeah I didn't switch sometimes you have to wiggle them around when you switch outfits I don't know why that is it just sometimes it'll keep whatever's there if you log in and out it'll also probably update it but I just like to move the things and it fixes it um, wow that looks awesome uh, those look awesome I the, the shield aura the rack of shield oh, that looks so cool so if I was gonna use this set I think I'm actually going to switch to using this aura on all of these. And I want to see what it looks like now if I have my single shield and archery bow. But they have to have placeholders over here. So I'm just going to drop on some placeholders here. But if you notice, look what happened. It just used a different color for the, the weapon because I have a two-handed slot here. That's why. I, I would have to use a different one-handed weapon uh, for that. See, so it's telling me I'm using the, the two-handed axe. You can't do that because I have a one-handed one I'm trying to use, but anyway. That's why I can get a little confusing. Just make sure it's the one one for whatever's in your slot for your cosmetics and whatever's in your actual equipment for these uh, things. <laughs> for the, the weapon auras. But yeah, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. So again, if I really wanted to switch that, but I'm gonna probably use my regular two-handed axe with this one instead. So um, there, now I should be able to switch. Oh, it also matters uh, which one you're switched on, right? That might've been what it was. <laughs> Whoops, simple, simple mistake. Oh, look at that. It looks so cool on the iron shield. <gasps> I like it because it's just so gloriously cool looking. Look at that effect. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. All right, moving on. Let's see the rest of it. You guys are like, okay, come on, guys. Let's move on. So we got the dashing feline. So this is another one of the felines. All right, let's look at the dashing feline. All right, it's just a black one. Very cute. There you can see it right there. I like it. They got that nice little fluffy, fluffy beard. I had a cat in my neighborhood and I named it Greybeard because it had like this, it looked like Gandalf with this little gray beard. <laughs> uh, all right, now let's look at the gear. So I'm gonna use the gear directly on my actual outfit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, switch to using my regular outfit. This is what I'm wearing right now. It's like, eh, just a bunch of random stuff. So let's go ahead and put on the rackish stuff. Oh, dude, that looks good. Let's get into the light here so we can kind of see it. Oh, man, that looks really nice. The textures are really clean. And remember, I'm a dwarf, right? So this might look even better on a, on a elf or human or hobbit. But I don't know. I think it looks really good on the dwarf. Sometimes with the dwarves, you'll get a little bit more of armor animation where they kind of like phase into each other because dwarves are so bulky and big um but dude that looks nice i like it and then what does it look like with the hood oh dude that hood is that hood is nice it's like a dark black navy blue and the gold trim on it oh. that looks fantastic i am 
very impressed. And by the way, I forgot to say it, but when I used that other thing, it did give me the, um, I didn't open it yet. On the luxury one, let me open this one real quick. I think we've gone through all of those. That just gives me a bunch, uh, that literally just gave me 1,250 Mithra coins, which is an insane amount of Mithra coins. So, again, if you somehow want a couple Mithra coins to get around real quick with the whole horse traveling thing I always talk about, might be a good way, or you can also use it to buy other things in, like, a special house and stuff. But um, I am now quite wealthy on my Mithril coins, which is a blessing. Um, but yeah, I think we covered it. I think I think it looks freaking awesome. And um, again, remember you can get um, the decent. You can get the set for. Oh, did didn't that give me a mount? Maybe there's not a mount with this one. Did I just did I click it without realizing? I thought it was a. I thought it came with a mount. But maybe this one doesn't come with a mount. Uh. I don't remember clicking on a mount. Let's see. Just double check. No, I don't see it. So I don't think this one comes with a mount. It's actually kind of interesting, but do you guys see Rakish mount? Oh wait, it does. Rakish Charmer Steed, it did. I just clicked it without realizing. I was like, I thought it did. Here's what it looks like. Oh, that actually looks awesome. Okay, glad we checked that real quick before I finish the video. Yes, look at that mount. Dude, it's got like armor plating on its neck with like leather straps. Do you see it? Do with the lighting, the bed lighting a little better. Probably should do this in the day in the game, but that's okay. We have a nice little lamp, little Narnia lamppost right here, so we're fine. Um, wow, look at that. He's got like scrolls. I actually really like how this horse looks. Its automatic name is Charmer. Really nice. I like it. Generic movement of the horse. Nice. If you have the cosmetic uh, emotes for horses, you can see what those look like, right? Um, where's the horse horns? I thought, I, where's the, is it on this one? I thought the horse emotes were in here, but it's the dance one. They usually have a picture of the horse. There it is. Right there. So, like, we can do the horse bow. You can't see it. Hurry. Let me do that again. This is the... We have to look at it cool and nicely because this is our wardrobe playlist. We're enjoying the animations and the looks. Alright, this looks like. When this one bows, we got the, the rear up. Uh, we got the kick. <laughs> and then we got the... Not to dressage. Well, there we go, my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. I think this looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm happy. I think it's, uh, I think it's, if you're someone who plays the game a lot and you just want another cosmetic look and you like the way this looks, I think it's worth it. Um, I mean, it's not, the getting the big one is not cheap. I think it's about just under 100 US dollars. Um, but uh, it does support them. It supports Standing Stones. And I think they worked very hard on these because I love that, the, the Crow one stuff. And again, remember, they have multiple ones. And I've covered most of them on my, my channel now. There's the Harvest one that was out at the time of me doing this. This one came out temporarily. They're not always out for sale. So if you're watching this right now, it might still be out for sale if you want to get it. It seems like these came out a year or two ago when I, I didn't get this one. Now I was able to get it and review it for you guys. But remember, uh, sometimes they are limited time. Some of them aren't. The River, the Rivendell supporter pack isn't. It's still out. Um, and then there's the Harvest Fest, Harvest one, which has the really cool uh, Clydesdale horse that I always ride. And then this one. And then there's also the Luxury one with the gold armor I was wearing in the last episodes with the newer one. So, which is, uh, you know. I think I showed you it, but it's uh, this gear right here. This is the other one. And it has a special pig mount or, or boar. So, but yeah. Nice. I'm very happy. I like it a lot. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like. Um, and again, thank you to my Patreons. I want to be able to do things and get these things to review for you without their help. 
uh, I would not have the extra money. So I appreciate it greatly. And uh, thank you for all your wonderful time and support. Subscribe button's there. Next episode's over there for Wardrobe. And over there is my Ardu voiceovers in the game and other content and links down on everything. If you ever want to support the channel, links are there too. I appreciate it greatly. And just liking the video though and sharing it, which is free. That you do a little bit of your lifetime to help me with that. I appreciate that greatly. You're the best. See you in the next one, guys. Through Kazar Kuzari menu. And remember, stay happy.